All right, we're back with Connex, and why did you get into the rap game? Uh, it actually happened by accident back in 2002, uh, taking an English class, we had to write some poems. Uh, I wrote a, a pretty high, highly political poem mm -hmm. um, at the age of 13. Oh, and, yeah? um, my brother played uh, a keyboard, and I had a friend that played drums, and they, they kind of did it as a joke. They were like, you should turn this, this poem into a, a hip-hop song. Took it to school the next day after we recorded it on uh, my grandparents' little laptop, mm -hmm. and uh, it all just kind of sprung from there. People liked it, and uh, I just started uh, just finding shows around the area, and uh, just started doing this, and, and, and nine years later, I'm, I'm playing Kansas City and, and St. And Joe. And, and you're about to go on tour. Yeah, we actually... Uh, we're, we're working on a tour right now. It's not finalized yet, but um, Never Any Fear Project is a band I work with out of Kansas City. Right. Um, they booked a show or, or are in the process of booking a show in New Jersey, and uh, we're working on getting some shows lined up, kind of touring out there. Um, probably starting off in Kansas City on uh, at Power and Light Grill. Double okay. um, A wants to get a show in St. Louis. It's just a place he's always wanted to go. Um, I've got connections in, in Indianapolis. We've got connections in Columbus, Ohio, uh, Washington, D.C., do that right. show with Never Any Fear Project in New Jersey and then up in, in New York City. So that's that's what we have planned. It's not finalized yet, but um, hopefully we'll have some some more uh, some more news about that uh, coming up really soon. All right, I gotta gotta ask because it's been highly out there that there's been beef, you know, and there's a lot of beef in the rap game. How does it affect like what you're trying to do, like as a as an artist? It it gets in the way, definitely. And uh, I try not to let it get in the way. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, when, when someone when someone goes on YouTube or, or goes on uh, any any social networking site and bashes you, yeah. um, and writes a song about you, and especially some personal stuff too, yeah. um, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's been some people who have seen the video that's been uh, posted about me on a, on a certain rapper's uh, on a YouTube page. I'm not gonna name names, but. Yeah. Uh, um, he attacked a, a, a vocalist that I had with me at the Beats for Brush show that I opened uh, for him. At, and that's what got you. And that's what that's what got me. You don't care if he comes at you. That's, if, that's if all comes, a part of the, That's if, all in the territory, right? Yeah. I mean, if he comes at me, then it's no big deal because I, I have dudes come to me all the time. You know, it's it's what you get as a rapper. Uh -huh. But she was she was just being nice and um, doing a remix of of a really popular song that I have, and that's just just kind of what happened. And she got caught in the crossfire and. I really didn't appreciate that at all. So um, <laughs> we actually have a song called uh, "Where They Go" on the uh, EP that's coming out in March, and uh, I, I wrote a 16-bar retaliation to. And to how do you video. think? How do you think that's gonna uh, turn out? As far as do you think there's gonna be an all-out war, or will we will we be able to settle everything? I mean, he's the kind of guy that I think um, will fire back. He'll fire back. I, I just I feel like his ego is gonna gonna want him to fire back, and and. Uh, you know, there's there's gonna be a come, uh, come a point where we squash it. One of us is gonna start doing bigger shows and and forget the other one and just leave him in the dust. Um, but you know, you know what happened was he's on this 1990 Never mixtape yep. that I wanted to get on, and uh, you know I can't compromise my feelings about about the dude and, and how disrespectful he was and how disrespectful his fans were at the Beats for Brush show back in November. So I mean, I wanted to get on it. It's a great promotional deal, but I'm not going to compromise how I feel about the dude just to just to gain some popularity. You know? Okay, okay. So, but your hopes are that this will be squashed, and you, you uh, want to yeah, move on. I mean, you don't. You're I not mean, the kind of rapper that is just straight out of cutting heads and stuff. You want to talk. You know, no, you want to say something. I've made that very clear to some other rappers that I, I've worked with in Can the Kansas City area. You're not it's a not, battle rapper. It's not. I'm not a battle rapper. Um, I'm not even that great at freestyling. And honestly, it's, just, it's not what I do. Neither is he. He's not a battle rapper either. No, he's a no. he's a party rapper, which is fine, you know. Yeah. Every everybody's got their own thing. Not everybody's gonna be just talking politics. Yeah, it's not, not it's not really my style. Double A came to me. Um, we're working on this EP, and we found this beat that had uh, a hook on it that kind of talked about dudes with, with big egos yep. and how they can't really back it up. Double A wanted to talk about um, this dude he used to work with, Jermaine, and uh, I wanted to write a verse about who I wanted to write about. So we wrote this song. That's the end of it, in my opinion.